to jump into this business, uh, you really just need a plan, uh, time, money, and space. And you don't need that much space. You can start with a single pallet and you can flex to more space as needed once you start moving more volume. I would say probably, I mean, the pandemic obviously plays a large role in that uh, people couldn't go in store, so everybody shopping online, it created a, a pool probably larger than we saw in 2019 of just products returning uh, to the resource market, to the secondary market. This industry has grown from something that was lesser talked about, uh, less, you know, lesser known about, but now in society it's accepted uh, to buy these reconditioned oh, items for sure at, at a big box store and maybe on a website like craigslist offer up facebook marketplace right, right i mean definitely i feel like maybe 10 years ago there used to be a stigma around refurbished items right people would think okay maybe it, you know it's going to completely rob me of my money it's not i need to buy straight from the manufacturer straight from the store to guarantee that i know that it's going to be working or in good condition but now it's been through companies like direct liquidation uh, the stigma is gone. Demand is definitely on the rise. We actually just started a new private Facebook group and we've been seeing a crazy increase in members, hundreds joining a day. So that's showing you the demand that we have and also the stance that we have in the market for return product. This demand is going to keep improving in the post COVID era. Uh, when we look at the, you know, our traffic, our numbers of people who are coming to the site, versus just the sheer amount of returns that are available. It looks like this trend is gonna continue. COVID kind of gave customers this introduction to the inventory, to the whole market in general. A lot of people were looking at ways to create new income, new sources of, of having money come in. And being at home, you can literally sell these this inventory on Facebook. You don't have to have a warehouse. You don't have to have a facility. Uh, we see that customers have started with just a single pallet and now we have them moving upwards of you know 50 to 100 trucks a month and they're doing it all from the comfort of their home so i definitely see that as we come back into a world that's reopening uh customers and the market itself just you know tripling uh, we also see just to piggyback on what you said just the success stories seeing someone else's success is a great motivator to all of us and someone says hey you know i can do this as well too and uh, one beautiful thing about our industry is that there is a low cost to entry and low barriers to entry. Uh, there's minimal, if no regulation at all, to buy general merchandise goods. Nothing is hazardous, there's uh, no harm, and you're actually helping out the environment and running a sustainable business by keeping stuff out of the landfill that would otherwise be uh, discarded. To jump into this business, uh, you really just need a plan uh, time, money, and space. You know, buying by the truckload, you're saving on your freight costs versus just getting an individual pallet. And so for our customers that are closer to the RLCs that we manage, they're getting trucks and they're able to see that, okay, I do have a great profit margin here with inventory that's in good and great condition, even though it is returned or, you know, sent back to the secondary market. We're just saying that the secondary market just has so many layers and uh, it's constantly evolving.